Hello all. So today's Thanksgiving Day. I hope uh, from the Buffalo Naval Park and myself personally, it's been enjoyable getting to know a lot of you, even if it's just through comments. So I wish you and your family a happy, uh, warm, and tasty Thanksgiving. We also like to remember everyone who's serving currently in the U.S. Navy on board ships out there somewhere in the world. Whether it's a crew of 80 or 90 or 5,000, they're not going to be sitting at home with family, friends, and spouses and kids. They're going to be in the officer's wardroom, or they're going to be in the mess decks, or they're going to be in the CPO mess, first class mess, whatever the configuration is, uh, sitting with their shipmates, coworkers, colleagues, uh, and not being able to enjoy fully uh, the day of celebration that is Thanksgiving. So we'd like to remember those guys and I hope that uh, you guys and gals and I hope that you do as well. Uh, so in our collection we have five Thanksgiving Day menus. We do have a couple extraneous menus from Little Rock, Sullivan's, and Croker, uh, but they're not related to Thanksgiving specifically. So these are ships in the US Navy that uh, we have but they're not our tourable vessels, so to speak. So let's take a look. First one up. Very lovely, bringing in the harvest before the dark times. All right. USS Maine from 1915. Of course, not the USS Maine. This is BB-10. Uh, began construction in 1899, served until 1926. Constructed at the Cramp Ship Building uh, in Philadelphia, and if you know uh, about Little Rock, she was constructed at the same spot. Let's take a look at the menu. We got oyster cocktails and consomme royale. Uh, consomme royale is a broth with custard in it. Cream of lettuce, au uh, <laughs> croutons, uh, celery, pimolus. I do not know what that is, pimolus. I'll have to look that up. Uh, roast turkey, chestnut dressing, giblet gravy, cranberry sauce, Brussels sprouts, potato, uh, croquette, candied ham, cauliflower, au gratin. Then we're getting down to the desserts, mince pie, which sometimes is called mince meat pie, but there's actually no meat in it. Uh, it's a collection of uh, glazed like cherries and uh, uh, roots and raisins and ginger, and then it's baked in a pie. Uh, Neapolitan ice cream, a raisin cake, and then you'll see just the random other little sweets that they have, and of course cigars. Up next, the USS Baltimore, CA-68. Came into service in uh, 1943, in April of 1943. And so this was their first Thanksgiving on board. Looks pretty tasty. It lists the CO, the XO, and the supply officer. All right, that makes sense because supply officers would be ordering and, and overseeing the preparation of all the food. So their menu, tomato juice cocktail, olive sweet pickles, cream of tomato soup, roast young turkey, candied ham, creamed mashed potatoes, buttered peas, buttered asparagus, sage dressing, and then again mince pie, uh, iced lemonade, cigars, cigarettes, candy, and mixed nuts for dessert. And on the back, a little prayer there. Okay, next up is the USS Pelias. All right, she was a submarine tender. All right, and what submarine tenders did, she was uh, AS-14. And submarine tenders, they were specific ships for submarines. Of course, submarines are small. They don't, aren't able to carry the equipment that a battleship, a cruiser, uh, even a destroyer can. So these were... Uh, these would pull up alongside submarines and hopefully have all of the equipment and the pieces, parts needed to repair a submarine or to supply a submarine 
right? So she was actually acquired by the U.S. Navy. Uh, she wasn't constructed for the Navy, but in uh, January of 41, she was acquired and she served until 1970. So here it lists the commanding officer, the executive officer, uh, lieutenant commander, lieutenants, and uh, the commissary officers. What's really cool to see is this really nice mermaid design by Walt Disney. Cream of tomato soup, shrimp cocktail, roast turkey, sage dressing, cranberry sauce, snowflake potatoes, butter asparagus, vegetable salad. Baked spice ham, giblet gravy, you can see as we're going down at Parker House Rolls, all right? Uh, that's on a few of the menus. Parker House Rolls uh, were a type of roll that they were kind of folded in on themselves. And it's not really a style that we talk about today, oh, Parker House Rolls. But back then, it was from the Parker House Hotel <coughs> in Boston, Massachusetts, which invented this type of roll. And they would kind of be folded in on themselves with like a, a pad of butter in the middle as they're baking. So, and they would some pour salt on top and uh, other spices on top. So we're looking at iced cocoa, bread, butter, cigarettes, olives. All right, so really it seems as though for their desserts it was, of course, cigarettes, <laughs> cigarettes, right, iced cocoa and ice cream. What's next? Ah, the Washington Treaty battle cruiser converted into the USS Saratoga. This is from pre-war, obviously, here, 1938, so early on in her service. All right, there's a nice profile. Commanding officer and executive officer sends their greetings. All right, oyster cocktails, sweet pickles, ripe olives, roast tom turkey, cranberry sauce, and you see the rest. Oh, pumpkin pie, I finally see that. Waldorf salad. All right, that's a fruit and a nut salad. All right, with mayonnaise as the dressing. Coffee, cigarettes, Neapolitan ice cream, and pumpkin pie. And last but not least, USS Mount McKinley from 1950. All right, Far Eastern Command. Again, with the officers, they like to give their greetings. Commanding officer, executive supply officer, commissary officer. And, oh, they even list the stewards here, a couple of the stewards, the chief stewards, which is nice. And we didn't see this in other menus. All of the ship's cooks and bakers. Uh, the culinary specialists. All right. So, consomme, uh, celery heart, shrimp cocktail, stuffed olives, roast tom turkey, Hawaiian baked ham. All right, oyster dressing, and then down and down and down. There it is again, Parker House Rolls. I guess the cigarettes were on them. Cigarettes were on the ship instead of on the house, <laughs> but they didn't have to purchase their own. And a short little passage of uh, thanks and remembrance. And then we even have, don't get too far ahead of myself, but we even have Christmas, um, a Christmas menu as well from Mount McKinley. Well, these menus can be uh, used to talk about a variety of things. What food was considered a delicatessen back then, of course, it triggers our remembrance of what these guys, at the time, what the guys went through, uh, either in conflict zones, uh, but they always had time uh, to step away and to give thanks. Uh, all right, well, again, wish you a thank, uh, happy Thanksgiving, and... Um, 
We will see you again soon. Please leave questions, comments, uh, and we'll uh, see you again soon, as I just said.